Greetings, fellow potter. Check out the OmniPod 5 automated insulin delivery system made up of the tubeless waterproof pod, OmniPod 5 app, and the sensor. They are your dream team, integrated together to deliver insulin tailored to your personal needs, helping to protect you against highs and lows day and night. Okay, let's put this on and start pumping. Hang on, before we can get rolling, it's important to mention that you must review your basal and bolus settings with your healthcare provider, in addition to going through the Omnipod 5 training. Sure, it looks easy enough. Seriously, you cannot skip this part. Check your average total daily insulin in your current pump by looking at your insulin delivery history or by adding up all of the insulin you take on a typical day with insulin injections. Your starting basal settings in Omnipod 5 should make up about 50% of your total daily insulin needs, with bolus doses making up the other 50%. I've got all the settings from my previous device. What's the difference? With Omnipod 5, your personal basal and bolus insulin needs may be different from your previous therapy. In addition to your basal settings, insulin to carb ratio and correction factor are bolus settings that may need to be adjusted to achieve this 50-50 split. For example, some users find they may need to strengthen their insulin to carb ratios when using an automated insulin delivery system. Work with your healthcare provider as you start to adjust these settings. And I'm done. Can we use the pod now? Now that basic settings are taken care of, let's take a look behind the scenes to understand how automated insulin delivery works. Oh, tell me more. Smart Adjust technology is the Omnipod 5's brain. Every five minutes, it communicates with the sensor to provide automated insulin adjustments. Using your sensor glucose values, Smart Adjust technology predicts where your glucose will be 60 minutes into the future. But how does that help with my insulin? Based on this prediction, Smart Adjust technology will increase, decrease, or pause insulin every five minutes using your target glucose. Smart Adjust Technology's predictive algorithm will lead to changes in insulin delivery that may seem unexpected at first. For example, you may be currently above your target glucose, but if the pod predicts you will be below it in 60 minutes, it may pause insulin delivery. I think I get it. It predicts future glucose and reacts in the present. When you start the system for the first time, automated mode can be entered immediately. Since the first pod has no history of insulin delivery, it uses the basal program you entered during setup as a starting point. There are also built-in safety limits as the system estimates your needs. So Omnipod 5 adapts by learning from my insulin behavior? Yes. Over time, Omnipod 5 adapts to meet your current insulin needs. Your total daily insulin history helps the system update your adaptive basal rate, which is done with each pod change. Think of your adaptive basal rate as the baseline for your basal insulin needs. This amount can gradually increase or decrease depending on changes in total daily insulin use. And remember, every five minutes, the Smart Adjust technology adjusts your automated insulin delivery based on your sensor value and trend. There are different settings in here. What happens if I change any of them? Keep in mind that adjusting the basal program when the system is in use will only affect basal insulin delivery in manual mode. It will not impact automated mode, since the Smart Adjust technology uses your adaptive basal rate, not your programmed basal rates. Target glucose is the only adjustable setting that affects automated insulin delivery in automated mode. Adjusting bolus settings impacts both automated and manual mode bolus calculations and the user's total daily insulin. I think I have a handle on all these calculations, but what about using it day to day? I think it's time we jumped right into best practices for Omnipod 5. Bolusing for meals is essential for success. If carbs are eaten without a bolus, Smart Adjust technology will continue to increase insulin to try to reach the target glucose, but it may take longer to bring glucose down for a missed meal bolus. Whenever carbs are coming your way, you should enter the amount into the Smart Bolus Calculator so Omnipod 5 can get to delivering the insulin you need for your meal. What happens if my glucose levels are still too high? 
Though the pod automates insulin delivery, there may still be times when you experience high or low glucose levels. You can give correction boluses by tapping Use Sensor in the Smart Bolus Calculator, but pay attention not to override the calculator's suggestions. Giving correction boluses and bolusing for meals and snacks will help the system understand your true insulin delivery needs and better adapt over time. Occasionally, your healthcare provider may want to fine tune your Omnipod 5 settings. Hey doc, good to see you. Check in with your doctor to review your glucose and insulin delivery data after a few weeks and make any necessary settings adjustments. Congratulations, you're a potter. Diabetes management can be tough. But through sophisticated automation, intuitive design, and proper training, Omnipod 5 can simplify your insulin delivery. Simplify life, simplify diabetes. Omnipod.